Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damit. Today we are going to answer this question and perform a demo. What is is null function in T is equal and what are limitations of this function? So is null function can be used in T is equal to replace the null values with some desired values. So we can replace any null value whatever the value we like to. So let's go to SSMS and take a look. Now what I have here I have a create table statement and I'm creating a table called customer address with some of the columns. So first name, last name, house number, street, city, state and last one is active. So let's create this table. The next part is I'm inserting some rows in this table. The one thing I want to um, insist or I would like to take you to take a note is I'm putting null value in the state column. Uh, or a state for, for this record actually at least uh, I'm putting uh, the null value for this uh, row the last one so let's uh, run this insert statements and take a look now select star from TBO customer address table alright next part uh, what we want to do we want to build a new column called full address by using these uh, four columns so how we would do that so let me show you how so we have house number and then you need to concatenate so I'm using plus sign here and then I'm using street address street name sorry and then here I'm implementing a space between the values and then I'm using city and then I'm using the state let me add some space between them and then add state all right so we are all set when we will run this sql um, sorry um, the select statement and we need to give the name as well so we want to give the name as the full address now if i run this statement what happened this statement is going to throw me error why uh, because the house number is integer and the, the rest of the columns are worker so we have to convert the house number to the workshop so that we can concatenate the strings I'm gonna give them this one to workshop 10 now we are all set house number invalid column let me see house number um, per. what I have here uh, that's the same column just sometime intelligence doesn't really work a whole lot the uh, here cast as we have to put as keyword and then we are good now let's run this one now what we see here we see these columns or the values are concatenated and build a new record or uh, sorry the new column for us so it build a new column but here one thing what we see as the state was null and it converted the our final output for the full address to the null value why because we have the default setting on sql server dbcc uh, if we say user option this is going to show us how the null concatenation work so if i go here let me put this i really don't like this part but let let's uh, go to the here concat null yields null that's what means and it is set so what does that mean it means if there is any value that is null and concatenating with other values your outcome is going to be null so i'm going to take this one as it is and paste it here now let me show you what does that mean so as we see the state is null and that's the outcome is null what one thing we can do we can set this value or set, uh, set this uh, configuration for this uh, session and we can off this we can set it on and off let's say if i will set concat null yields null off then it will not uh, produce or yield the null output it will produce whatever the values are okay let's run this one now run our sql statement and we see that it didn't produce the null values it took all those values and gave us the output value for the full address uh, column now but that's not be might not be that's might not that might not be really you want to do 
because this is going to set uh, this uh, configuration or, or the settings for this entire uh, session so maybe there are other queries where you don't want to use this one so you want to leave this one to default and handle those null values as individually in different queries so let's set ba this uh, back to the on so we want this one okay if there is any value that is null we want the output to be null if you are adding to other columns so let's set this one to on now we are all good again let's go select the query and here what we see the output is again null as one of the value was null how we can handle this part let's take the same query i'm going to go further down so is null function is provided to us so we can replace these null values with any value what we like here so in this case i will be doing is null state and then I don't really want to replace with any value. I just want to leave this one blank. So I double put the single quote and then I hit the single quote again. So it is not replacing. I'm not replacing with the ABC or uh, unknown or anything right now just with the blank. So if I run this query again, what I see it is uh, creating that output uh, for this row but there is no state because there was null before it was creating null output now we have uh, taken care of the null values so we said that if the values is null just put the blank there so that's how we will treat or um, the null values by using is null function let me go one step ahead of that and consider this one what we want to create an another new column and say okay where the state is null wherever the state is available give me that value and if the state is not available give me the unknown value so i'm going to take the same column whatever we have here and then just let me add a new column here i will be saying is null state and i want to replace with the unknown so when this uh, entire query will run we want wherever it is null we want is unknown as a state available or not so this is a new column we are adding we want to replace the state if it is null we want to replace with unknown let's run this one and see what happened so if i run this one it ran fine but oh it did not replace with the unknown why because is null is taken the data type of our state so that is what is the data type of our state so we have data type this state has a chart 2 and that's the reason it is only showing us two characters let me go back and change this one let's say if I will say alter table and let's say DBO customer address and say alter uh, state and now I will say what are 4 if I run this one what happened okay the state can be a keyword is shown in blue I want to put the parentheses let us let's run this one okay here okay let's put the column sometime that's the problem uh, you have to if you add a column you don't have to say add column but if you alter a column you have to say alter column so that's the reason it was given us error now we convert it to the char 4 so if we run this statement simple the last one now what is happening it took uh, the first four characters because we have changed the state to the varchar 4 so that's why if you are is using is null that might not be really true in those scenarios where you want to change to desire output and it is a more value than whatever is defined for that column so you want to take care of that part really good so let's consider the same select query in the, if i have to handle how i will handle this one so instead of saying is null here, I might uh, come back here and say case when state is null, then unknown 
else state and as state available or not okay so i use the case statement here to handle this situation let's run this one and see if it works for us now it is working because we are not using is null function anymore and if we will use the is null it is going to take the data type whatever is defined for that column and only produce the output depending on that data type so we had seen that it was producing only two characters first because our column was char2 then i converted to what char4 it was only showing you first four characters so is null uh, that that's a problem with the is null where you can use a case statement but there is another function that is introduced to you that you can use and that can handle these situations so in those cases what we have here we have coalesce so i'm going to show you so you have to say c o a l e s c e coalesce and then you say this column name and then you provide whatever you want to change so unknown that's it instead of is null we are using coalesce so if i run this one right now it did show us unknown it took that value even the state is the only four characters let me take this one again and uh, here i want to use show you the results with is null and coalesce at the same time so here i will say underscore is null and here i will say underscore c u l c coalesce all right so we see what is the difference right here so if i run now let me take this comma extra comma if i run it right now you will see so here the thing is coming up with the is null and it is only shown as four and here we are using coalesce and it is taken care of that so that's where, where the coalesce is ANSI standard uh, function and the is null is coming with the t sql so you want to make sure when you you are using is null uh, you want to make sure that this value fits in with the data type what you have for the column otherwise it will be showing you uh, the results we have seen here so i will have another demo on coalesce and show you all the details of how this function work so in, in short is null or coalesce the both can be used to replace the null values with some other desired values thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you in next video